Hello. How are you, okay? <laughs> oh, lovely to meet you. Hi, how are you, okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm Laura. Good nice good. to meet you. Nice I'm the you. interpreter today. So, this is Fayad. Nice to meet you. Fayad's got some questions to ask, if that's okay. okay. How old were you when you started playing football? I was probably three or four. When I play football myself, it makes me forget a lot about my home problems and personal problems. It makes me feel nice and relaxed. No, I think similar. One of the main things is to enjoy when you play. You know, there's always a lot of emotion, but you know, enjoying is probably the biggest key. That's why I started playing, because I love the sport. What position? <laughs> oh, same as you, right back. <laughs> Very good. So you born deaf? Like, when did you start learning sign language? Yeah, I was born deaf. My mum and dad are deaf as well. About three or four I was, my, my mum started to um, teach me sign language and then ever since that's been my language. Has it ever held you back in life? Yeah, very difficult when I talk to hearing people. Obviously we have communication barriers, so I have to use kind of body language, gestures. I've uh, heard about the community work you do. Yeah, so I'm a support worker. I support deaf um, people who have got uh, mental health um, issues, physical, emotional, and I help them. Help them, and also who don't have much sign language, so I really help them to improve their language skills as well. How did you uh, become a Chelsea fan? So it started, I was five or six, and uh, against my uncle, because my uncle, he actually just supports Man United, and I thought, no, we need a bit of family rivalry, so I went for Chelsea. <laughs> My sister played for United as well. We had a lot of rivalry as well. Mm. But now she came home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw, definitely. Hello. We got a jersey for you. Here you go, man. Yeah, man. Nice to meet you. Oh, definitely really nice to meet you. I'm so nervous now you're both here. My mom actually worked a lot with deaf kids growing up and, and she, uh, she learned a bit of sign and she taught me some things. <laughs> you say my lips don't move. Saying it's harder to lip move. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even understand that. Oh, don't worry, he didn't mean it in any way. <laughs> no, no. It's definitely harder to lip <laughs> So Cadbury Fingers, uh, we're announcing the renewal. It'd be great for you to teach us a bit of sign language to help us announce the, the renewal. Yeah, I'm more than happy to help you, yep. more than happy to teach you. So, do you want to show? So, hello, Chelsea. Yeah. So what you do, you just put it, so it's kind of this hand shape, and you just sort of put it by your mouth, Chelsea. That's it. Chelsea. And then fans like this, okay. almost like you've got, like a scarf, kind okay. of like a, woo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's three more, so that's three and that's more. Sign. Three more. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, my name is Maya. It's nice to meet you too. Hi, I'm Magda. So I'm really excited to learn some sign language. We have news for you. We have news for you. Perfect. It's an extremely cool and powerful language. I mean, there are moments where, where we could need uh, to use the, the sign language. I think, the, yeah, it is extremely powerful. And yeah, I feel honored to have uh, been taught by such a good teacher. Nice to meet you, okay? Look, all of it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Where did it go?
I'm so happy. I'm so buzzing. Look at all my new clothes. <laughs>